Hi my little penguins, it's me, Jamie Lynn. Today I've got a really special, slightly different video for you guys. I'm going to be creating some crafts out of shells. I'm going to be painting, I'm going to be sticking, gluing. I'm just going to be creating. So yeah, I'm super excited. This video is going to be completely inspired by the Disney movie, The Little Mermaid, and I'm super excited to get going. So um, yeah, come with me. Oh yay, hi guys. I'm so sorry that I've got a little cut on my finger here. Sorry about that guys, but um, yeah, let's start on my little crafts today. I'm excited. Now I'm just getting a piece of paper to lay down just in case because I don't want to make a mess. And I have seashells. So these are my baby shells. And now I'm gonna get my mummy shells. What I mean by that is they're just a little bit bigger. So what I've done here is I've mixed a lovely green paint and I'm gonna paint all of these shells in the nice green color. So at this point, you don't really know what I'm gonna be doing with these, but I just need to make sure that they're all covered and I can leave them to dry for a little while while I continue on my inspirational design. Um, as I've already told you guys, this is going to be inspired by The Little Mermaid. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm going to do next. Now I've got a piece of A3 paper here. Lovely. And I'm just going to give the paper basically like a C background. So I've got some aquary colours. I've got a dark blue, a light blue, a white and a little bit of a greeny kind of colour and I'm just blending them all together just to make a nice background for my mermaid. Lovely! And now I have a piece of cardboard here that I'm just going to stick this piece of paper onto. Now I'm kind of trying to make my own little canvas thing here uh, which is pretty cool, but yep, yeah, as I've shown you, I'm just using PVA glue and popping that all over and sticking the paper down. So now that's all dry and ready, I do have a piece of black paper that I'm going to do a little bit of drawing on. Now you can't see this very well, but what I'm doing is just drawing out the, a basic aerial shape. Uh, aerial is in the princess of the Little Mermaid. And I'm just cutting her out there. I'm only doing her top half because I'm going to be doing her tail in shells. I thought this was a really cool idea, but yeah. So first of all, I just have to figure out where I'm going to place her on, pop some glue on the back of her and glue her to my background. Awesome. And before I pop her tail on, I just want to focus on her top because I haven't painted um, her top yet. Her top is a purple colour, so I've got a nice acrylic purple colour here that I'm just painting the shells. And I'm going to let them dry while I just focus on the tail. So now what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing kind of a towel shape just to kind of give me a little outline to where I'm supposed to glue my shells. And I'm just going to make sure that I, I know what I'm doing with my design. And I do have my hot glue gun out. If you guys think this is a good idea and you want to try this at home, that's completely fine. And if you do, you're going to have to let me know that you are and show me your completed design. But if you don't have a hot glue gun, that's absolutely okay. You can just use kind of PVA glue or any, any glue that you have really. It doesn't really matter as long as they stick. It might just take a little bit longer to dry. I'm using hot glue here just because it's a quicker process for me and I like using it I suppose. So I'm just layering up the shells here. These are all of the green shells that I painted earlier. So I'm putting a base of all of the bigger shells and then I'm popping the smaller shells over the top so it kind of hides some of the background that's peeking through there. But I've kind of run out of shells, so I wanted to make the tail a little bit smaller. So I've got my Christmas tree rubber, you know how it goes guys. And I've just rubbed out the outline that I drew earlier. And um, yeah, I finished the tail and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I have a little extra shell here. This is such a cute one. This is a little pink one I found on the beach. How cute is that? And I'm just going to pop that in her hair there just to give her a little bit give her a little bit of something something yep yeah. and now I'm just going to stick her top down 
and Ariel is nearly finished. Her design is completely finished, but you know what I have to do now. I just have to go over and mod podge all of the shells. Um, this is just gonna give it a little glossy finish and yeah, I'm so happy with the way that she turned out. Oh guys, this is such an easy craft that you guys could do at home. And if you don't have shells, you can use anything you have. Let me know if you do this at home. So now I'm moving on to my next craft. So this was a really cool shell that I found on the beach. Um, yeah, and it really reminded me of Ariel's necklace. So I'm gonna make this into a necklace. I've got my Mod Podge and my gold glitter. Yes, and I do have a piece of string that I have just um, measured out. And I'm just gonna stick that with my hot glue into the shell. You don't have to use hot glue if you don't have a hot glue gun, but that's absolutely fine. It might just take a little bit longer to dry. And if you don't have Mod Podge, that's absolutely fine too. I could have just used any PVA glue, but I just had Mod Podge to hand. Um, so yeah, that's what I used. And what I'm doing here is just giving the shell a base coat of, uh, of the glue. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the gold glitter over the top. And this is inspired by the Little Mermaid's necklace. Awesome, now that's all finished. Let me move on to my next craft. So this is a cute shell I found on the beach and it's a perfect shape for me to make this into a little fishy. Yay, oh, I'm super excited. So the main fishy that's in my Little Mermaid is flounder and that's gonna be so cute. So I'm just painting the shell yellow here. After a couple of coats, I'm just gonna go over and do some stripes in blue because that's kind of flounder's look there. And this is really simple, guys. If you want to do this at home, please let me know. All I've got now is a little bit of foam, but you can use normal paper if you like. And I've just cut out a little fin and a little tail. And I'm just gonna glue that on there as I said before, you don't have to use a hot glue gun if you're doing this at home, but it just quickens up the process for me. And I think I'm gonna have to try and find a googly eye. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. I need a googly eye for my fishy. It's just a fish with no eye at the moment. I need a googly eye. Anybody got a googly eye? Googly eye. Googly eye? No. Anybody got a googly eye? What am I supposed to do about a googly eye? Okay, guys, send help. <sighs> okay, guys, I've been looking everywhere for a googly eye. Just the one, just the one googly eye. And I can't find them anywhere, so um, I'm gonna have... <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go with some sparkly gems instead for an eye. That's all right, isn't it? Is that all right? I don't know, but... We're gonna have to do it, if I can get one off. Oh, googly eyes would have been so much better. Nightmare. Okay, I'm putting the diamond on my fishy. Oh, that actually looks kinda cute. Don't worry guys, if you don't have googly eyes at home, you can just use gems. Now we're going to move on to the next craft, which I'm super excited about. I've got such a good idea for this one and I really hope that it turns out amazing. So I've got quite a big shell here. I believe that this is an oyster shell. Look how pearly it is inside. Woo, it's so cute. And look at the shells outside. There's so many layers. I don't even know how oysters do this, but it looks so awesome and it's so pretty and it's gonna make an amazing canvas to paint on. So I'm just gonna give it a little clean up and a little sand here just to make sure that my paint sticks. And I'm gonna start painting. So I've got some blue colors here that I'm just gonna paint all over really. Um, you'll see in a little while that I'm gonna try and create some texture so that this is going to kind of be the sea 
the painting here I'm going to do is the sky. Awesome, so I'm doing kind of a blending thing for the sky and I'm trying to create some texture for the sea to make it kind of look a bit like waves. So to do this at home, if you guys want to try this at home, then how I did this was I just got a few different color blues and whites and I'm just kind of layering up the paint, dabbing it on um, and then I left it to dry, which was really awesome and it created this amazing texture that looks just like the sea. So now I'm painting a big sun, it's going to be like the sunset guys, um, on the horizon. So cute! And you're going to see in a little while what I'm actually going to do with this. I'm just going to paint a couple of stars coming through there. Just to kind of show that it is a sunset and the, the night time is coming. Yeah, and I'm just focusing on the horizon a little bit there. I'm mixing yellow and white for that. And I'm also going to start doing the reflection in the water, which is so awesome. Guys, this is the best part of this video because I just really love doing this part. This was so fun to do and um, it turned out really amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you this, guys. And um, once that's kind of dry, I am going to get some black paint out. I'm doing this all with acrylics, guys, just to let you know if you want to try this at home. I used acrylics paints and I'm kind of doing like a little rock that um, my little mermaid's going to sit on. <laughs> so I've got the reflection in the water and I'm just highlighting it with a little bit of white here and there just to kind of give the rock some texture. And now that's all finished and dry, I want to focus on painting Ariel sitting on top of the rock. Oh, she looks so lovely. And I'm just going to give that uh, white, um, yeah, that yellow sun another coat over there. And it's all finished, guys. I'm super excited about this. I love it. And guys, here's my finished product. Oh, I'm super happy with the way that these turned out today. As I said earlier, guys, if you want to do this at home, please let me know. You can let me know on my social media accounts. My name is Jamie Lynn YTC. And as I also said earlier in the video, if you do want to do this at home, don't worry if you don't have any shells, you can make these out of anything you might have at home. Okay guys, on every video I try to give a shout out to someone super special who's been supporting me on my YouTube journey and on my social media pages. The person I want to shout out today is Art by Teodora. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this one. Also check out my previous videos. I've done squishy makeovers, I've mixed and made slime, I've done thrift store makeovers and I've done more arts and crafts that you guys can do at home. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye my little penguins.